way I kind of went into the film, you know, a curmudgeon. I was like, yeah, this thing, oh, my, I'm not going to like this. It's not going to be well, the good. One, you're like, eh, whatever. Yeah, yeah what, I said, it's going to, it's not. I'll tell you right off the bat, it is not a colossal disaster like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from 2005 with Johnny Depp and Tim Burton. That was awful. This is much better than that. And while initially it wasn't grabbing me, I think it has a really good second act with a lot of uh, funny jokes. I was laughing out loud, and eventually my my crabbiness kind of dissipated, and I was enjoying myself. However, that first song, that first song hits you right away and lets you know this is a musical, okay? You're going to get multiple, you know, music sequences, and honestly, the songs are, at least the first song, is not very good, so I was like, not, not the best way to open it. Uh, some of the songs get a little better, but none of them reach the level of the original. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971. Still can't be top. This one is not better. It's n- not close. Uh, but it it was a celebration, and I think that this one, uh, you know, paid homage to that one in several musical cues and, and obviously using a lot of the uh, elements uh, from that film in this film in respectful ways and ways where it, it felt genuine and uh, and ultimately I actually liked Wonka by the end it kind of won me over and uh, this is clearly a different Wonka than Gene Wilder there's, there's, the darkness is kind of gone yeah, and that's I what I was happened. What happened in between? Yeah. I was like, is this little girl that he's with, is Orphan going to die? Like, that would make sense or it's something, like, oh, like, man, you yeah. know, to make him dark or something. Uh, because in this film, it's uh, he's kind of tied to this uh, the Orphan character um, and uh, kind of a, a, a storyline where they uh, kind of fight for their freedom and uh, fight to make good chocolate and battle Slugworth and, and the other Chocolate two. cartel chocolate cartel so what did uh, you guys say alex how, how do you like the film what do you think it was better than i thought i was i i saw the trailers and it's like look it doesn't need to exist um yeah. i don't trust people to make it and so that being said it, it is better but there's some there's some problems here i think that this is totally uneven um there are times where they're re- it's really touching and it's really sweet and there's these moments it's like wow this is really good and it just bounces right into a section where Willy Wonka is beyond, like, cartoon character. And I know he's supposed to be childlike and he's supposed to be a little bit wacky, but it, it's it's almost a parody uh, that goes so far beyond what, what it is that it kind of, it lessens the impact of some of these really touching emotional moments that they really, like, they end really strongly with on the film. But there are times where it just, just doesn't always work out. I love musicals. Uh, I think the music from the original 1971 one is just absolutely incredible. They definitely are emotionally manip- manipulative here, where they're like, like our movie, we're going to play all the stuff, the, the, the hits from the our old movie that make you, you know, get you into the mood. I think some of their songs worked. Um, I would say that the majority of them, I would are average at yeah, best. Nobody's gonna be singing those songs. Yeah. Oompa Loompa, I sung a lot. A bunch of these other songs from the original, I sung a lot. These, nobody's gonna be singing. Yeah. So I think that this, you know, this especially for a family movie. I mean, we've seen some real garbage fires yeah. in the last couple of months. This is not amongst them. Yeah. So I think that you know they did much better than I thought they were doing. Yeah. So I give, give them props for it. Yo, I enjoyed this movie. Um, my first thought was like, why do we cast Timothy? I honestly wanted so Jeremy Allen I wa- I'm like, Jeremy Allen White would have been better. Yes, but Jeremy Allen White. Yeah, look it up. Uh, he's uh, he his picture. Yeah, he was in the Bear Shameless. Um, but he won me over. I love his uh, charisma. He, him playing a naive guy. Oh, he hey. was great, right? He's a young G1 yeah. guy. But yeah, uh, I still liked it. I liked the think, musical. Uh, Timothy, get, I don't know if Timothy can sing. Yeah, it's auto tune. Yeah, half of the pop stars that they can. It was a good story. I really enjoyed it. This is why you go out to the movies to have fun and enjoy this film, and I really liked it. And again, yeah. like I think that you go with Jeremy Allen White if you if you do the <laughs> right darkness, though, if you do that, that the in has, between, that it's like what happened? Right. I would but, have been, but, him. It would have been perfect. Right, and, but they didn't go this path. Instead. Um, Let's see here, Warner Brothers, you know, because also, oh, I, you know, I was just like, it's not Disney. This is Warner Brothers. Uh, 
Yes. They didn't want to go too too dark on this. No, they won't care. Every he's so hot right now, and he's in everything, and it's like it puts bucks in seats. So yeah, yeah. Which uh, it worked. It worked. It did work. Uh, I think that uh, the supporting cast also uh, uh, elevates the film. I think, uh, let's see, uh, who, uh, Keegan Michael Key as the chief of police was making me laugh. I enjoyed his character very much. Uh, Noodle, Willie's assistant, Kala Lane, she did a great job there bringing some of the touching moments to the film and sort of befriends her as he's in kind of this indentured servitude. His good nature is being taken advantage of by our villains in this film all throughout first set of villains is um done wonderfully by let's see what's what's uh the name of those characters olivia coleman is the bleacher and olivia coleman miss scrub it scrub it yeah, yeah miss scrub it and uh bleacher tom davis these two do tom a davis. wonderful job little funny subplots there uh apparently well, I guess we'll save that for the spoilers. Uh, but so you got a little subplot there uh, with indentured servitude, and then you've got uh, uh, you know uh, Wonka battling the chocolate cartel, and then the eventual kind of creation of what we what we know. The film does eventually try to tie in and, and, and really tugs on those member berries. Uh, but yeah, I'd say my biggest criticism is that it's hard to recapture the magic of that original uh the songs are not quite as good uh the tone is far more like you know happy kid friendly kind of thing with uh, sprinkles of, of darkness but it's done in comedy you know and um uh, but i i enjoyed it for kind of a throwaway popcorn type of film yeah. so well yeah because i'm trying to compare his his uh so oh, much, yeah. yeah, there's so many, and they're all, all, all mostly just forgettable. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm trying to depict his portrayal as uh, Willy Wonka as like a, a completely different from Johnny Depp. I know you haven't seen it, but I saw another one. That Johnny Depp, I hated. Yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm giving that I'm liking this more because obviously the way he did it, like there's some just it's, Johnny Depp was like freak. Predator. Oh. Just no. To, yes, it was just disgusting. I I don't know what he's doing, and Me I don't. I didn't get and, it. And I like this one and way yeah, better. Timothy really. does a, he, he dips into a little bit of Gene Wilder, but he brings more of a youthful, wide-eyed, open, you know, learning and just confident in his one ability. And then winning people yeah. over like that because he is like he's pure like good. Pure. He's like pure. Yeah, I one of the cr criticisms of Gene Wilder for a long time was like, hey, this Willy Wonka kind of seems like he hates kids. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. And then so it's like he's supposed to be, you know, be a kid. This and be an embodiment Willy Wonka of loves people. Yeah, so this one, like, this one hates me. Yeah, it's like, oh, wow. So I, I love the I like it. Yeah, so they kind of swapped over a little bit. But like I said, I think that he just, they went a little silly. Um, even like that is with me understanding that I don't like that kind of stuff. And I, but even for kids, like you didn't have to go as silly. And I think it would have, you know, the, the the movie would have flowed better together. Because I mean, there's some there's some dark stuff and some like really touching stuff that they try to finish on. And he's like doing yeah. zany things in the background. It's like, come on, you don't have to know when to. to well, so to the I just well, chalked it up to it's a musical. So the prequel has 11 songs in total, and I know two of those with Pure Imagination yeah. and then the Oompa Loompa. So you can minus two, so you got like nine. And of those nine, I'd probably say I thought three were acceptable. The other ones were just like average. Like I was just letting them pass. Do, do your thing. I know that's, that's what you mean. Yeah. Um, we can we can go into what those are as we go into um, uh, the spoiler section, but uh, I, I enjoyed the bright visuals, the magic of Willy Wonka's interesting creations and chocolate, and just these ingredients. Uh, I really enjoyed. Now, do I really buy that this you know <laughs> the, this supposed poor penniless man who cannot has no skills in other areas except for making chocolate? makes these concoctions with 
fucking silk from Constantinople and milk from Zimbabwe or yes. whatever he yes. says. It's no yes. fucking impossible. Hey, look, you gotta, you gotta but whatever, it. it's the magic. And yeah, I like exactly. to say, oh, I wanted to be a magician. And so I like that that kind of ties kudos, in there. So it, it goes, <laughs> yeah, you like it. it. It goes back and forth between this fantasy land. You have to accept in this world there's certain things, and that's why I was willing to accept a lot of the other things that occur in this uh, particular world, uh, this fantasy world. Um, I am curious if this does well enough, because, uh, you know, if, if they want to continue films in this particular version, and, you know, or if it's like a one-and-done thing. You never know. If, if, this, if, 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 this, if it makes a billion, they're going to fucking continue it with Timothy, with Timothy as, uh, you know, Willy Wonka. But if it doesn't do too well, then maybe it'll, it'll just stay as a, as a one-off prequel. And that's fine. And honestly, that's fine. So this one, I would say, is safe to bring the kids to. I think you'd have a good time. Yeah. I think the kids would have a good time. So this one, I would recommend you go out in theaters. Let's go ahead with Final Birds. Go ahead, Alex. Um, I'm sure I'm between a six and a seven because I think that this is at least at least an above average film, um, and I did enjoy quite a bit of it. Um, you know, I, yeah, it's weird because you feel like you're being manipulated when you start singing pure imagination. It's like how dare you? But you know, yeah, and it's, 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 sure, but, yeah. but it's there, and it's it's something that, that you know a lot of things do. So you know, I think I will go uh, up to the seven. I think it, it is it is a you know it's a sweet movie. Um, there's some charm to it, uh, and it loses all of its points because I think that. This, like other directors, I think have forgot. Like they, they make movies like they don't understand children, where it's like kids can appreciate, and you don't have to dumb everything down for kids. Yeah. Um, and I feel like they just went too far um, with that kind of stuff. And I think that you know, even little little kids can watch the original movie. Are you saying this one went too far to be dumbed down? Yeah, absolutely. I think that they went extra zany and extra wacky and tried to do some like. You know some some other things, and then they put things in for the parents there. You know the the stuff with the, the family element. So, um, but I think that they did a good job. So I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay, and Joe, I'm gonna go with seven as well. I enjoy the musical. Some of it, uh, obviously, some of the songs didn't weren't very good. Um, not That's enough, nice. not enough Oopa Loopa for me. As they are, come on. But even yeah, with, we have one Oopa Loopa. Oh, 